stuff is in the hole. Decent signal, see what we got. And the answer is a bit of a spoon. This permission in particular is great for spoons for some reason. But there you go, there's another bit on. Okay, so I'm also testing a product today. It's the uh, M Power Low Latency Bluetooth Transmitter, which I'm transmitting to my Mikus uh, Low Latency Bluetooth headphones. These are the same ones that the Equinox ships with. Um, mine lab just put their logo on them, but they are exactly the same. So I'm hoping I get. Um, the same lack of lag that you get with the Equinox uh, when using just Bluetooth, which is um, I think it's approximately 40 milliseconds, which is not a lot. Um, so we'll uh, check back on as we do. I'm going to stick it in here on the side of the um, cover uh, and see how we get on as we go. First coin up, uh, just flips it over and see it straight there. Uh, I think it's uh, an old penny. Yeah, that's what it is. Three decimal penny, George the fifth. There you go, first coin. Yep, always a problem with fields that have been uh, paddocks or used as paddocks. You get a lot of uh, horse brass and bridle type stuff. So here we go, some form of old bridle, not like that older. Uh, so we'll hedge with that one. So so far, the setup with the Bluetooth transmitter uh, connecting to the Bluetooth headphones, both sets of low latency, seems to be working just fine. It's very, very similar to uh, the Equinox setup. Uh, that when you're not using the specific, I think it's a module that they have on there. So when you're just using normal uh, low latency Bluetooth on the Equinox, uh, which I do with these headphones, you get exactly the same in terms of uh, lack of delay. There's a tiny delay, imperceptible though, um, and of course normally when you get a target move back over that to check on it so it completely disappears really um the only thing that i've noticed that uh, it's not a negative just take some i was getting reuse to it, is does change the sound of the tones a little bit between it um pinpointing in particular is a different sort of buzz to it um but beyond that it's uh, working exactly uh, as i hoped it would so i think uh was it 25 quid i paid for the bluetooth transmitter i already had the headphones so uh, a decent low latency Bluetooth setup for, well, 30 quid really, I guess, from that point of view. Well, a lot on this one came up. I thought it was my third week of silver. But it's a silver or silvery button by looking at it. Shame, but never mind. Well, it's gold. Of sorts. A gold metal comb. Which, obviously, isn't actually real gold. There's what you find in the middle of a field. Right, first decent signal. In the hole, about 100, relatively flat line, and oh my god, it's freezing. Right, next up is a 2P, obviously a nice clear signal with a nice straight line. Yeah, so one for Aaron there. 2P, booker. I'm out today with a Goliath coil on. It's got a lot of plastic to cover, as you can see. Uh, get an extra depth, uh, which is a blessing and a curse sometimes when you're trying to find small targets at deep uh, depth, but such is life. I also got the um, low latency Bluetooth setup that I uh, created. So these are Micus headphones that I got for my Equinox 600 and Bluetooth low latency. In fact, they're the ones that my lab ship uh, with the Equinox and uh, the uh, thing connected here. You can see he's an MPOW low latency Bluetooth uh, transmitter and receiver. And next up is another button, quite an old one, quite bad. About six inches down, sort of scratchy 70s. It's not designed that well, it's sort of concentric circles. There you go. And next up is this little thing, looks like a little spoon, but I think it's, uh, it's hung off something in the past. Not sure. Anybody know? Please put in the comments. And next up, uh, might be last up. It's like the back of something. I don't know if it's uh, maybe horse tack or it. We don't seem to have any attachments. You normally get something that's been uh, attached to leather or something. 
back of something, front of something potentially I guess. Tin? Who knows? Clean it up um, with some designer identifying marks on it. Uh, next up is what looks like some weird sort of makeshift lead button. Slab of lead, a little piece of lead, so it looks like a slab. A piece of iron, strut through it, push through it. That makeshift button. Hmm, any ideas? Please put it in the comments. Uh, next one was at the bottom of that hole, about six to eight inches down, and it's the first older coin of the day. It's a Victorian half penny, young uh, Victoria. Seems to have a date on about. 1860 something that's the uh, oldest coin on this permission so far so there you go first old coin and next up and so from under the tree is this interesting thing is that a badge or a button or something well, it seems to have a button thing on the back but i'm not entirely sure any ideas please put in the comments this bottom area of the field is turning out to be a little bit of a coin area, it's a sorry, light uh, shadow of the tree and the sun but here we go, uh, a threepenny bit and next up it's this rather decorative piece, looks like it's been attached to something at some point not sure what, nice scroll work there on there anybody ideas what that might have been attached to? let me know 